All right. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, so, I figured I'd make this here. A lot of people ask a question. Um, you know, why does God need me to pray? And why should I pray? So, God is a samad. He doesn't need anything. He is 100% self-sufficient. And he is the source of all of our, he, he's where all of our sustaining comes from. When we we don't sustain ourselves. When you do something, it's by God's will. You didn't give yourself your heartbeat. You didn't create yourself. You didn't give yourself eyes. You didn't do any of this. God gave it to you. And you need him. And everything that exists needs him. He is the creator, the sustainer, the provider. He is everything that the world needs it comes from him. And he needs nothing. Remember that he needs nothing. He is self-sufficient, self-sustained, 100%. So why do we have to pray? That's the real question. Why pray? God gave us prayer as a gift to mankind because he loves us. He wants us to pray and it's going to keep us on the right path. Alhamdulillah. He is giving it to us as advice to get us to the destination that is good, to a goodly destination to the hereafter. In the hereafter. Now, uh, the manufacturer, I'm going to give you a, uh, like a metaphor, a parable, whatever you want to call it. The manufacturer of my car. He manufactured my car. He created it. And he gave instruction guidelines for you to use that car and for it to work right for you and for you to get to your destination in a proper manner. So, he tells you, don't put this in it. Don't put this type of oil in it. Don't put cooking oil in it. Bad idea. But it says oil. Anything. No, no, no. Don't put cooking oil in it. Very bad idea. Put the certain type of oil that your manufacturer says to put in it. So, same with gasoline. Same with transmission fluid. Don't fill your uh, tires up too full. So, there's these do's and don'ts. And don't have them too little. That middle area is where you want to be. Um... You know, so there's the do's and don'ts from the manufacturer that he gives to the person who's going to use the car. You need to give it an oil change. You need to give it uh, its, uh, its tune-up. You need to give it new tires. You need to give it new brakes. You're going to need to change, uh, you know, give it more uh, windshield, uh, wind windshield wiper fluid. Things like that are necessary on the car. And he's going to tell you when and what kind to use. So, same with the car, it's not going to get you to your destination if you don't put gas in it. It's not going to get you to the destination if you don't put the right transmission fluid in it. You can't drink, do intoxicants, because it's bad for the human to do these things. And this is given to us as advice from our creator because it's not good for us. As a benefit and a gift for us to get through this life. Same with prayer. Prayer brings us back. We're given 1,440 minutes in a day. And he says, five times a day, these different times, step aside from what you're doing and what you love, all the gifts that I've given you throughout your day, your children, your food, your entertainment, all these things. Enjoy life. But for when you're doing things, here comes a prayer time, stop and go pray. That's how you know that you love the one who created everything and gave you all those gifts every day. It makes him know you respect and love, and he's above all, Allahu Akbar, he's above all the gifts that you gave him. He is the one who provided them for you, sustained you. Love him. Remember him. But not every second. You don't have to do it every second of the day. Five times a day is the minimum, and at those end, uh, five minutes. So, when you're, you love sleep, well, there's two times when you would love to be in bed. Guaranteed. Isha prayer and Fajr prayer. These two prayers are the hardest to do. Why? Because they are at these times when you want to be resting. And it says, hey, get up. It's only two rakat. It's going to take you like two, three minutes less to do these. And just go, you know, you can go back to bed. It's better not to. But hey, you can go back to bed. You can go relax. You can go do your thing. Go back to bed. But get those bed blankets off and say, hey, thank you. You woke me up. I woke up today. Alhamdulillah. I woke up. Go pray, and then you can go back and lay down if you'd like. Now, Isha prayer. A lot of people want to get in bed. They got work tomorrow morning. 
do the Isha prayer. It's a nighttime prayer. Mandatory. Get it done. These are good for us. We're thankful to God. And it's going to keep us God conscious. It's going to protect us. It's going to protect our actions throughout the day. We're going to think about God throughout the day. All those times. Why do you pray? Because God. Because God. Doesn't need it. We need it. It's bettering us. It's making us think about him all the time. Alhamdulillah. It is a blessing to us. And he is our creator. He is our designer. He knows what's better for us. He knows what's good for us more than we know for ourselves. Our desires are clearly desires and they're not always good for us. We desire tons of things. And if the world was given to us to work as our design, the world would completely fall apart. We are weak. And we need to rely on him and his advice. So, inshallah, that helps. I'm not sure. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.